In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to predict the shape of larger molecules. And the molecules we're focusing on in this video are methanol and acetic acid. So in question number one, we're asked, predict the geometry of each interior atom in methanol, which has the chemical formula CH3OH, and make a sketch of that molecule. Let's begin with the Lewis structure of methanol. We'll start off by creating a structure based on the order in which these atoms appear. So we have C with three hydrogen atoms bonded to it. The carbon is bonded to an oxygen, and that is bonded to a hydrogen. To come up with the Lewis structure, we need the total number of valence electrons. So we have one for each hydrogen, and there's four of them. Carbon has four as well, that's eight, and oxygen has six, that makes 14. Now we've already used up one, two, three, four, five, five times two. We've used up 10 electrons in this structure, which leaves us with four more. And those four will be distributed along the peripheral atoms, namely this oxygen atom. So that is the general Lewis structure of methanol. We have two interior atoms, this carbon and this oxygen. We need to account now for the bonding groups for each of these and the number of lone pairs. So starting with this carbon, it has one, two, three, four, four single bonds, and that I will refer to as four bonding groups, BG. It does not have any lone pairs. And for oxygen, we have one, two, two bonding groups, and two lone pairs. Using the table provided here, I can now figure out what molecular shape each of these atoms will have. So starting with this carbon, we had four and zero, and if we add this up, we have four in total, so four electron groups. We'll focus in on here, we have four, four, and zero. This means that the shape of this atom and its atoms surrounding it will produce a tetrahedral. This means that the carbon will be surrounded by atoms that are 109.5 degrees apart. This oxygen is 2 plus 2, which is 4 electron groups. Focusing on over here, we will have a bent shape, which is less than 109.5 degrees. Let's put all this information together to actually create a sketch. So we have our carbon, and it will be connected to oxygen and the three hydrogens, all at 109.5 degrees. I'll try my best to show that. That's hydrogen, hydrogen, and think of this being in 3D space, so it would be inside of the page. And all of these are 109 degrees apart. Of course, it's not the scale, but try our best to imagine the way this looks. This carbon is attached to a oxygen, and the oxygen, which is attached to the hydrogen as well, will have a bent shape that looks like this. And the angle between this bond and this bond will be somewhat less than 109.5 degrees. A more accurate illustration is now shown on your screen. Let's move on to question number two. Predict the geometry of each interior atom in acetic acid, and that's shown below, and make a sketch. So luckily they've provided us with somewhat of a molecular structure, not the Lewis structure of course, because the Lewis structure would have lone pairs shown, and they're not shown here. So we can kind of skip the first step. We can just move on to the next step, this part. One of the central atoms is this carbon, and another central atom is this carbon. And arguably the oxygen is also a central atom, but we'll only focus on the two carbons. Starting with this carbon, it will have the same configuration as before because technically it's a methyl group. This carbon and the atoms surrounding it will have a molecular geometry of a tetrahedral. So this, again, will be tetrahedral. What about this carbon? Well, we'll analyze it. It has one, two, three bonding groups, and it has zero lone pairs. Adding this up, we end up with three electron groups. Let's use this chart. If you focus in on this row, you're told that it's a trigonal planar, and that means that the atom here, here, and here are 120 degrees apart. So this has a trigonal planar molecular geometry. I'll write it down as TP. Let me do my best to sketch this out. So I'll start with the tetrahedral, where we have the carbon, attached to four atoms, and they're all 109 degrees apart. 
109.5 to be exact. That is bonded to another carbon. That's bonded or double bonded to an oxygen and that's bonded to OH. Now just to make this more accurate, this should somewhat look like this, where that's 120 degrees, that's 120 degrees, and that is 120 degrees. And there you have it. That is how to predict the shape of larger molecules.